What's going on, guys? YouTube Underground Podcast number four. Quattro. Say again? Quattro. Quattro, right. Quattro. Uh, That's okay, all the so Spanish you get from me today. That's it. <laughs> this will not be in Spanish. This will be in English. <laughs> How you been, Jim? I'm, I'm good. How about yourself? Doing good, man. Finally got the stitches off, cast off my wrist there. So I like it. Good. I like it. Yeah, I can't move uh, my hand completely around, but it's, you know, going to take some time. A little bit of swelling in the middle, but had some surgery, you know. It looks fancy, man. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. So last podcast we talked about what, Jim? What did we talk about in podcast number three? You know what, man? <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. My memory is not that good. I'm being honest with you right now. Uh, that is That is highly unacceptable, sir. <laughs> Being a podcast creator, that is unacceptable. Me, so, you know what, Jim? I will tell you because I'm going to look because I forgot myself. You know what? I'm fired. It's been about a week ago. I'm fired. You're fired. Yeah. Uh, okay. You're yeah, rehired. Podcast number two or number th I can't even think. You podcast know what? It number three. It was number three. Yeah. Videos and live streams we talked about. Okay. How, how to video and live stream. We talked about how to earn views. And we talked oh, yeah, about that's right. How to earn subscribers. Earning the views and subscribers. That is correct. Correct. So now in podcast number four, we will be talking about redirecting videos and what else? We're going to talk about uh, interacting with your audience, your subscribers. Or also, you know, communicating with your subscribers, interacting. And then finally, we're going to talk about channel data, and we'll explain what that really means. Mm -hmm. So let's get right into mm -hmm. our first topic, redirecting videos. What does that mean if we're saying how to redirect videos? So what we're talking about here is, let's say you have, a, and I've actually done this myself, let's say you have a playlist that you really want to get out. So what you could do, and this is very smart, and I'm going to tell you the, um, the overall what happened when I did it. So make an entirely new video. And when you make this video, you can say, hey, I got five videos in a playlist that I want you to watch. I really think they'll be of importance to you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put those five videos in the description of this video. Now you've made an additional video. So you're pushing five videos. You made one. What you're doing is a one for six exchange. So you have that one person that watches that video and then they know what you just said, that you have five links you wanted to check out in the description. Right. Maybe they look at all five, maybe they look at one, but what it's going to do is give you that additional view. What I did, I have an actual video on my channel, so it does work. By the time I had 55 views on the video that I uploaded, my total view count was over 130 nice. within the same time frame. Nice. So that's basically redirecting videos. You can make a video and have in the description that redirect to give you, give you back a little more views. And in my case, uh, it helped people that said, you know, hey, I didn't see one of those videos, but now I did. So right. you just never know what people see when you make an actual video. So I, we talked about this a little bit in the last podcast about pinning comments. So you can pin your own comment and it will set your comments to the top of the comments and you can put a link in there and say, uh, you know, check out my next video or check out something related to that video to get them to go there. Now, I don't do that because I just enjoy pinning comments that I feel are genuine comments. And a lot of big channels, they pin their own comment for that one main reason to redirect them to another one of their videos. Uh, right. You can do that. And there's <clears throat> two other ways that we can redirect videos. And one of them is end screens, right? Absolutely. So what is an end screen? An uh, end screen is, um, let's say you have a three-minute video 
and you, you put up an end screen. The end screen gives you the option to select another video or a playlist or even somebody else's playlist yeah. if you want. Right. Right. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be on your channel. So you know. I could show Jim's video. He could show my video as a collaboration exactly. kind of thing. It's a, it, it, an end screen is just a way to, if the person stays watching your video long enough and is interested and says, I want to see one more, maybe that end screen that you put up will direct them and keep them viewing. Right. And maybe, maybe it won't, but I mean, no, no one's going to be able to predict the future on that CJ and say, Hey, they're definitely going to stick around and wait for the end screen. Right. So it's not always true that they'll click on an end screen. No, so if we no. can't get them to click on an end screen, we could use something called cards. And what are cards? Uh, a card is a, is it playing cards? No, no, we're not playing around here today. Uh, we're not playing games. No, we're not playing games. Well, why, do they call it, what, why do they call it cards? I mean, why? What is that supposed to mean? Because it's selective. It's an option. So I'm watching a CJ's Info video. Right. And it's about a minute and a half in, and I'm losing interest in the video. You are? Absolutely. <laughs> but you being the smart man that you are, right. have looked at your analytics a week after you posted the video. Okay. And you saw that people were leaving the video at a minute and a half. So you take a card and you stick it in that video at one minute because you know people are gonna start leaving that video. So the card will actually come across the screen for those who are watching. <clears throat> It'll come up like in the right hand corner mm -hmm. and it'll say the title of the video, wherever you placed it. And you should place it, as Jim said, somewhere before people are dropping off. How do you know people are dropping off? You look at your audience retention in YouTube studio. Right. Analytics. The analytics, analytics will take you there. Um, then you click on the video itself. Actually, um, we can put that in the description for them uh the how to add info cards the one i did sure so yeah, we'll jim do has that. a video on that i actually don't i just maybe i felt like it was too easy but a lot of people don't know how to use cards they don't know where it is they don't know what it does a lot of people believe it or not think that when they're watching a youtube video on youtube if they see this thing that comes up which is a card it says suggested and then what that is saying is the creator, the person who made the video is suggesting you to watch this video. And it's actually not YouTube saying it. <clears throat> it is the person who made the video and people just don't understand that it's not YouTube saying that, which is a good thing because you don't want people to think that it's you. You want YouTube to think that it's recommending you another video. See, so what, what we're going to do is we're not actually going to have a card pop up during this part of the conversation we want to put it in the description because the fact that we're doing a podcast not all of this is video a lot of it's going to be audio and what's the point they would never see it pop up anyways so for you guys that are viewing it'll be in the description and you'll know how to add those cards and i actually i believe in the video that that i did cj i did actually go to the analytics and explain step by step and I'm, I'm 100% sure that that's how I did it. So that's really going to help them out. In the long run, it will. Uh, so you can, another very simple way is just to literally say in the video somewhere in the beginning or even near the end or in the middle, wherever you want to do it, but probably the, the more of the beginning. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, after you're done watching this video, I have another video on this. And that will help trigger something in their mind to say, okay, well, maybe whatever you're talking about that you want them to watch triggers them. That's more interesting, maybe. Okay, I want to watch that. So it's just another way for them to maybe search your video for redirecting. So, well, yeah, I mean, people are, they're listening to us right now talk about it. And then they go, well, they're not telling us how to do it. Right. Well, 
we're telling you it, it's in the description. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's a done deal. If it's something that you're interested in that we just discussed, go to the description description. Right. And there so will we're definitely telling be you a- where to go to find our videos. I will put in one of mine where I talked about how to make animated intros for end screens. But in that video, I show you how to get to end screens and how to use them. So we'll both have perfect. our videos. It'll work out that's, great. That's, that's like a, a one for one. Right. Nice so we're actually redirecting you right now to one mm. of our videos for both of our channels. Mm, funny how that works. That's funny. Very funny. So what, what else? Let's, let's get to that next one. So number two. So number one was pretty short and we'll get a little more deep with channel data. Uh, number two is interacting with the audience. How can we, interact with our subscribers or the audience so it's not everybody understand that not everybody is a subscriber you know you have people who are who are watching your channel or your videos but they're not subscribed so that would be your audience so how can we interact with these people the first thing you want to do uh when you're interacting with your audience and they're watching one of your videos hey See, welcome to CJ's Info. We're talking about blah, blah, blah. Welcome to YouTube Underground Podcast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Right. Turn on the notification. That's your first part of your interaction. Should be 100%. all the time. Right. A lot of people, they, they don't do it. And I honestly didn't do it in the beginning of starting my channel. I go right into the video. <laughs> I'd never ask them to subscribe. I never ask them to turn notifications on. Yeah, me and neither. here's a really big one that I've been trying to work on myself is ask them to comment below, say comment below mm-hmm. if you've done this or comment below if you've experienced this. So you're making a connection between you and the audience. Oh yeah, I did experience this. Or yeah, I did have trouble with this or wow, I didn't <laughs> know that. Like, so what it does is makes them comment. So what you want, to do is get between the redirecting the videos and the interacting of your audience is to get everyone to continually tap into your videos tap in comment engagement it's actually called engagement so you want high engagement you want high retention and when those things are all coming together high engagement high retention youtube will put your videos out and suggest them or they'll be on the browse features. They'll be suggested. And yep. that is how your videos get pumped out there constantly by YouTube. Now they, you will, have- they will put impressions onto right. other people's home pages. Exactly. So if you have low retention rate and a low engagement rate, nobody's commenting, no one's liking, no one's subscribing, nobody's doing anything really. They click away. Now you have poor retention. Why would YouTube want to recommend your video after another video? It's not showing any kind of uh, growth for the video. So what's another simple way of uh, interacting? Because like we're, we're saying, we need you to comment below. We, we rely on your comments. Right. Otherwise, hey, CJ, I don't need to comment on your videos. You know why? Cause I can read your mind and then you could just answer me without me ever leaving a comment. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You can read no. my mind unless no. it's a live video. I mean, a live video, we can talk in the chat and it's live, but with a regular video, the only way I can talk to you is if you actually leave a comment. So I have to say, leave a comment below if whatever. Now, what are some other ways? Okay. Social media. Do you have social media? Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever chat. I got them all. You got them all. So whatever social media you have, tell them, put it in your about page, right? We're going to connect everything together, meaning whatever social media you have, we want to connect with our audience, our subscribers to pump out those links, those videos. Uh, And maybe not everything has to be a link. Maybe just post a thumbnail and maybe they like the thumbnail and they actually want to watch the video, just put the link in a comment, you know, just let them read the thumbnail. So you want them to somehow get to your video. So I have, uh, 
82 subscribers. I don't have a, a, a community tab yet. What can I do? Okay, so good point, Jim. So actually, uh, what he's talking about here is a great tool that we have on YouTube that I totally forgot for a moment about what we were talking about with interacting with the audience, monster energy. <laughs> nice. Not a plug. Okay. So discussion page, if you have a channel under, you started out, you will have a discussion page until you hit 1000 subscribers, you will earn an awesome thing called the community tab. So before we talk about the com tab short for community tab, let's talk about discussion page. Which we Let's have hashtag here. That. Let's have hashtag that. Have you checked that. out our discussion page, Jim? Our discussion page? Yes, I have. Okay. I'm just I'm just making sure you're looking at our discussion page. Let me go look at it right now. Okay. I just uh, want to make sure that you're paying attention. That's all. No, I got, I got up our list of goodies, what we're going to discuss for these fine people today. All right. So we want to use a discussion page that we have. Now, understand it's only on the computer, right? It will not be on the mobile mobile app. I'm about to let you know right now. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure discussion is not on the mobile app. Unfortunately, it is only on the computer. But that's not to say that you shouldn't use it. You need to use your discussion page and talk to your subscribers, your audience, whatever it is that you can do. Uh, my next video is going to be this. Or, <laughs> you know, this is what's coming up next or thank you for subscribing, whatever you want to say, make it sound good and use that discussion page until you hit a so, thousand subscribers to get that com tab. Right. So now if you're under those 1000 subscribers and you're on mobile, no, you will not be able to see it. Okay. So if that is the case, meaning what he's saying is correct, which it is, what you can do is on Google Chrome on your phone, download Google Chrome, you can set it to desktop mode, request desktop site, and you can go into your YouTube channel in desktop mode and control it from there and do discussion on your phone in desktop mode. Same with Safari, you can set it to desktop mode, go to the very top of the big A, little A, set it to desktop mode. You can do discussion from your phone. You just have to set it to desktop mode. So right. now somebody has, um, they got their 1,000 subscribers and YouTube says, congratulations, here's your community tab. You have got to use that thing. I mean, when you get it, right. post immediately. You got to love what, it, man. You have to love that community tab. Yeah. I love and it. Also, also, one thing uh, that you brought up that I don't know if um, many of the audience listening right now remembers, if you don't do a video, for five or six months and you use that community tab one time, right? your channel will still be rolling and so oh, yeah. yeah, so basically this applies to people who are monetized. Now there is a difference. So you're, <laughs> let's just say you're not monetized because for the most part, podcast one through four, this is assuming you have not been monetized yet. Everything we've talked about is assumed that you are not a monetized channel. If you are, that's fine. You can use all the advice that we're using. We will get into monetization, but we started this from step one, starting a YouTube channel to actually every single step that we can think of that you should be doing starting a YouTube channel. Doesn't mean you have to do everything exactly the way we say it, no. Right. But do it the way that is comfortable for you, but make sure you're doing <laughs> everything we say because you're maximizing the abilities that YouTube, the capabilities that YouTube provides. If you're not using all the functions or abilities, you're losing out on opportunities such as views and subscribers and so forth, channel growth. So anyway. Yeah, we went through that already. It's, you don't want right. to go that route. Right, so, okay, real quick, just to <clears throat> make it quick about it. If you're not monetized, there is no time frame. meaning you could post a video and never post again until two years later, but it, there is a timeline, a time frame for when you are monetized. If you become a monetized channel, you have to post either a video or something on your community tab within six months because you're signing a contract with YouTube to agree basically that you're going to continue to make videos. That's what you signed up for. You're signing up to continue to make videos. So if you don't, yeah make YouTube happy, YouTube says, 
goodbye and your contract is ended. You lose your channel. So, so you start all over again. Just for having an inactive channel, that's kind of that's kind of crappy. I mean, but why would you? I mean, I don't right. know why people would do that. Finally, get to that point, right? Where they get monetized, and when you do get monetized, read everything about it. Right. There's a lot. Don't, there's actually don't a lot. Just involved. click on it and go. Right. Read the whole uh, YouTube YPP contract <laughs> uh, partner program. Download it. Copy it. Save it. Um, it will be there for reference, but just read it and understand right. what it means. So you, you don't you don't get monetized and then they just start paying you. No. Uh, um, there's there's a couple steps you got to go through. There's some. Uh, well, I'm making millions. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh man, I made uh, four cents off of ads yesterday, so I'm raking it in. I mean, I'm at, I'm already clearing a thousand clear every week. I'm clearing. I, I'm about to quit my job, actually, uh, Jim. But I, I mean, what I'm saying though is that people, they get monetized and they think the next day they're going to start getting paid. No, I mean, you got pen activation. You got right. you have to set up your yeah, bank account. There's a lot. There's stuff. a lot involved, yeah. and we're gonna we're it gonna save about this. a week. We will save this information for the next podcast coming up. I don't know if it's going to be five, but monetization is going to be a big deal for uh, one of the podcasts. So. You got to post something within six months, a community tab post or a video if you're monetized. So now let's just get back. Correct. Okay, so community tab. What can we do on the community tab, Jim? Mm. What you kind of say, things can we do? Uh, you can do. Uh, that, that you can't do on the discussion mm. page. The uh, differences. You can do a poll. Okay, polls. Polls are great. Now, the way I do polls, and Jim actually just picked up on this. So the way I do a poll, and I just started this maybe like a, a month or so ago. So I make a poll and I'll say, do you know how to do this? And they'll say, and I'll put yes or no. And I'll create the poll. Okay. And within 24 hours, I have a video about that question. Do you know how to pick your nose? Yes or no? You say, what do you say? I don't do that. You say, I don't do that. Maybe I'll say, I don't know what you mean or what, how to pick a nose, you know, option. Or well, what is we, that? we like to give options and then usually that third or fourth crazy option in there just for fun. And um, then I will but, post a video. It says how to pick your nose and it'll premiere at the time that I, you know, I do. So <laughs> there is a connection, right? I gave oh, you a poll and now there's a connection. What, what is CJ doing here? He's providing you a glimpse into the future of his video. If you pay attention to the poll, right, it's, right, it's a cliffhanger and almost a way to keep you on your toes. So it is a way of redirecting, helping you understand the next video that's coming out. It's, if you take the poll and you answer it, whether you know it or not, you already have an interest in his video that's going to come out. That's right. what he's doing. He's, He's building up excitement, building up interest. Why right. did you answer this poll? Right. Because the question was interesting to you. You answered it. And then guess what? Next day, boom. Right. You might not even CJ's expect video. it. You're just like, oh, I said yes. Or I said no. And then all of a sudden, tomorrow, mm -hmm. you see a, a premiering coming about what you took a poll. And you're like, wow, I, I, I want to know about this. Like, thank you. You know? Exactly. So it is a way of redirecting on a a more exciting level right it's not just like here's a video and bam watch this and go to the description which those are fine but right what we're saying is you know community tabs if you use them be smart about it because they do provide a lot of views and a lot of interaction with your audience exactly so uh if you what other things can you do? So what could you do? There is an, uh, the at symbol, the A where you like the email, it's the at oh, symbol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this if is you, mentioning. If you think that somebody out there that you know that's always checking on your videos and, and leaving thumbs up and comments, and they have over, uh, is it 1,000 subscribers? Yeah. So you, they have to have 1,000 subscribers or more. And if you put... Hey, come check this out. And then you put the at symbol at CJ's info, or let's, let's use one. For example, 
who I know is a huge supporter of, of us. If we put, come and check out this podcast Wednesday, 8.45 p.m. at Carter Club. Okay. Right. She's going to get that notification immediately. Oh, yeah. So if we just put her, she's going to get it immediately, but everyone else is going to see it as public view on the community tab. Exactly. If you so did you can- sign up for notifications, you probably won't get it. So we think maybe Carter Club didn't sign up for notifications. So we're going to use the at symbol and direct it to her because she said, hey, I want to see your next podcast. So we're we're like sending that open invitation to her by doing the at symbol and her channel name. That's exactly. How you- and then what's really cool, guys, is if so a lot of people and they're and this is just this is simple facts. Most people are using YouTube on their phone, right? So Mm -hmm. if you click on the notifications button at the very bottom, you see two things. You see all and you see mentions. If you click mentions, this goes right. If you did it properly, the at symbol and the channel name, it will actually auto populate as you type it. It will come up in blue. It will go right to mentions and, and everybody that mentioned you will show up in the mentions and a lot of people don't even know how to access it so his says all he has to click on mentions and when he clicks on mentions he will see everybody who has mentioned his actual channel name now i mentioned him right there in the last video and so forth people mentioning him so that is a great way to redirect or to interact with uh it's actually both redirecting videos and interacting with your audience for subscribers that was a mention on uh memberships memberships right which i just got actually so i just got the membership join button it's called the join button the memberships if you don't know what that you know join is it means memberships if you see a join button when people get to that point all you gotta do is leave a comment on one of our videos how do i set up memberships that's right. why we're saying earlier, we need you to comment. Right, definitely you comment, comment guys. we're going to help you. Comment with your questions. If you have a question about anything, if it's not even about what we talked about in this podcast, comment about it. You know, you know go back and look at our other podcasts, but comment below, guys. We want to know. We want to hear you guys and what you're thinking. And, you know, without forgetting about it, comment now so you don't forget. Do it. Channel data, what do you think? Let's get into this. Yeah, that's cool. So this might be a little bit of a shorter podcast, but that's completely fine. It doesn't all, it doesn't all have to be uh, almost an hour long. Most of them have been 50, 55 minutes. But so channel data. So what do we mean by channel data, Jim, for the third topic? So we got we got about page, entering channel tags. We got, I mean, you could do translation with Google Translate. Okay. Uh, just uh, also links and your channel banners. Very important. All right. Very, so how do we get important. to all these items? We got to go to YouTube studio, right? Go to the studio. YouTube 99% studio. of what you got to do is in the studio. Absolutely. Pretty much everything you do is not everything. Again, Jim said 99%. Community tab is not in studio. There are nope. things that you can see. But everything, videos, titles, description, tags, channel tags are different than video tags. Although you want to use video tags in your channel tags, it's just that you want to find the right terms, the right titles that you want to put. And Jim and I were just looking this over. We, I mean, there's a lot, honestly, there's a lot of confusion about channel tags. Right. So what the confusion real quick is, how do channel tags work? We know how video tags work and we explained it. You know, if somebody searches something on YouTube, you have that video tag in your video tags, the tag in your video tags, how to pick your nose in the video tags. I type that in on the search bar Google, on YouTube and it comes up. Okay, boom, that comes up because you had it in your search in the tags, you had it in the description, you had it in the title. But what exactly for channel tags How do you know how that works? If you type it in, if you search in, you know, how to pick your nose, is it automatically going to bring up your channel or video? No, no. Um, What? So how can we explain this in more of a layman's term? 
So what we were looking at earlier, um, just it just led into more uh, of the confusing state that, that we were trying to figure out. So what I'm going to say, and then I'll let CJ uh, go from there, is that I believe that whatever niche that you're with on your videos right. that you're sticking with, when you go into uh, customization of your channel, you want to add channel tags. So if you're all about weightlifting, how to lift weights should be one of your channel tags. Um, you, you know, you don't want to just go off track and start adding um, weird tags like random stuff. Yeah. Biggest muscles in the world. What the hell does that have to do with how to lift the weights? Right. I mean, in the long run, it makes sense, but for people to find your channel, it makes no sense at all. Right. So how to lift weights, uh, how to lift weights for beginners, things okay. like that relevant to the videos. Like we're doing videos in order one, two, three, four, five, and so on starting a channel and working your way down. So we're putting in channel tags on the actual page that directly relate from step one all the way to the end to start your channel. Right. Just don't go off track with no. your channel tags. And as far as like, um, you know, it, it is a lot of confusion on the actual channel tags itself. It is. I mean, a lot of people, number one, a lot of people don't have them typed in. We've looked at a lot of channels and mm -hmm. people just don't even know what it means, where it's at. It's in YouTube studio. It's in settings, go to channel and it'll say tags. So this is again, different than video tags. These are tags for your channel, but you want to use video titles that videos that are most popular and, and basically getting constant attraction. So when, someone's typing that in it will also kind of correlate with the videos and that's your niche that's what you're doing on your channel so it makes sense you know if you're so doing we, we could do that later with them um right <clears throat> maybe i mean this could be a good video for you um and we can go into analytics and show the reach go into the search and and just go through the steps and show them you want to do that now no, no, no. Let's, no. let's not do it now, but right, right, something, right. something later for them. Yeah. So the about page. Okay. So another way to, you know, get people to see channel, we say channel data, we just mean like inputting information, right? We want to input information about our channel so people can find us on Google, find us elsewhere. If you have nothing in your about page, nobody knows what you're doing. I mean, does everybody use the about page? Yes and no. I, I like to look at people's about pages. Some people do, some people don't, but regardless, it is more data for YouTube. It's more data for Google. So if you don't have anything in your about page, you're not providing more. Like, again, I said, the biggest thing that I truly believe in mm -hmm. is when you have an ability, a capability to do something and you can use it, use it. But if you don't use it, you're losing out on opportunity. So if you have an about page, fill it up to as much as you can. If it says a thousand characters, you don't have to, but I recommend you do. You maximize everything that you can. So your first couple lines are really important. These are lines that, what happens is someone searches your channel, they type in CJ's info. I'm just gonna use an example. They type in CJ's info, They'll see my logo, CJ's info, and the first two lines will appear, not the whole about page because they can't fit it all unless they click into right. it. They'll see, and I'll tell you what it says, showing you how to use digital tech. Okay. CJ, um, showing you how to use digital tech. Then it says, CJ specializes in websites, apps, and software programs to make your life, you know, with simple tutorials. So I think it stops like simple tutorials. That's it. Literally two lines. You already know exactly what I do on my channel by those two lines. If you said, right. You know, uh, Hey guys, 
um, I'm a father of three or I'm a, a mother of 10 and I, you know, the welcome, hi, I, I love life or, you know, blah, blah, blah. They don't know what you're doing on your channel. You got to be very specific within two lines. And then what's more important too is it all in. have your, your um, channel name. So after that line, if you go into my belt page, it says subscribe to CJ's info to keep receiving valuable information. Join CJ's or join members to receive exclusive perks. Okay. Right. There's certain words that I'm using. So CJ said, I like to look at the about section in people's channels. I do as well, but I'm going to say this. And I know CJ sees the same thing. And I guarantee if you're listening this far, a bunch of y'all out there have done it and it's still on there. Go back to your about section. You're talking about nothing to do with what your videos are on your channel. Right. I guarantee you somebody out there listening right now. Right. Just go, man, I don't even know what my about section is about. I know I wrote yeah. something. That's funny. That's funny. A lot of but people, man. That's I know, but maybe I'm happy uh, you brought that up too. You wrote, you wrote it a year ago and now yeah. you've changed your whole niche right, uh, right. videos that you do, but your about section still says I'm a NASCAR fan. Right. And now it's all about, you know, yeah. midget mud wrestling videos or something. <laughs> So you, know, you might hey want guys, to change. I love to do fishing here. Check out my fishing videos. And I come to your channel and I see stuff about comedy, you know, stuff about, uh, whatever, just dumb stuff, whatever yeah. kind of comedy. And it doesn't make sense. So everything should always make sense. Now, as far as videos, no, don't go delete videos. We talked about this, but mm -hmm. when you switch niches, when you focus and you niche down, you focus on one topic and one topic only, change everything okay change your about page change your video descriptions so that everything it makes sense okay like i understand this person is doing this again mixed content is going to hurt your channel the more mixed you are the more confused people will be about your channel and the less likely people will subscribe because they don't like multiple topics unfortunately youtube is it's just about one topic unless you're a gigantic channel you will not be able to pull off multiple topics and be successful stick with one topic and one top only you will be no, a successful on, channel my favorite channels to subscribe to are the ones that got crap all over the place i love that so and now that we said that if you switched up videos and your about section is off that probably means that you're not your video tags, your channel tags are of the old stuff you did. Well, now you're doing new stuff. Right. So if your about section is off, fix it. The next thing you need to do is go look at your channel data, the tags on your channel page, because those are probably wrong also. Yeah, you probably have those wrong. Check your video tags, <laughs> check, you know, check, just check everything, guys. Make sure if you check. have two, buddy, TubeBuddy is a great tool to help fix your video descriptions. You know, uh, when I changed my channel niche, I changed some words and you can do find this word and replace this word. So it goes through all the videos and replaces every word to whatever I want to replace it to. So it's a great what, thing. What else is uh, important? Let's talk about that uh, channel banner. banner. and uh, Channel banner, the channel art. What can we do? What can we put in the channel art that a lot of people don't even realize? How about some descriptions? How about some uh, redirect links? Right. So you could put links within your channel art. It's called an overlay. It will overlay on top <laughs> of your channel art. It will not show up on mobile and it has to be on the computer or again, set it to desktop mode, but in studio, go to your customization. You will be able to add in links and only up to five links will show, but that doesn't mean you have to, you can only do five. You can have, a lot of links. I think I have like eight, eight links, but only five will show. Well, yeah. You could switch them whenever you want. You could switch the order. And the first one that I recommend is subscribe, the subscribe link. What it does is you click on it. Someone clicks on it. It says, do you want to subscribe to this channel? 
And that's well, what, that's uh, what I'm thinking is um, uh, we were talking about uh, redirecting. Right. So social media, you can social have your social media. media links in there. So, can, I mean, that's a perfect way to redirect. Right. I, I actually have something that a lot of people don't have is a website. I have my own website, cjsinfo.com, and that literally just takes them to my website. Now, I do have – I don't have my videos on there, but I have it set up to where they can click into it if they want to. And But it's just another way to get my name out there. Create your own website and put that link right on your channel or your your links. Yeah. It's smart business. Right. I, I think I have a few up there. I, and I know people like to use, uh, you know, their PayPal and Cash App. Uh, right. Use them. Use yeah. them. You can put PayPal. You can put whatever. If you, you know, especially if you're not monetized, there will be mm. people who will donate to your channel, even mm. if you're not monetized, because they want to support you. Yeah. There's no reason you shouldn't be, uh, taking advantage of that. You know, we, we see channel banners all the time that <clears throat> you got, you're, you're well into a thousand subscribers, but there's, there's, there's nothing on the channel banner. And we, and we look at that, like, even if you're not monetized, why, why haven't you put, why haven't you put your PayPal link up there? And then when you're running a live stream at the bottom, set up a ticker that says here is my PayPal information. If you, if you want to donate, feel free to do so. I mean, it's just, it's just a way to move information, right? You're, you're never going to get what you're looking for or get done what you want done unless you put it out there. Exactly. Give people the option to choose free will. Now don't, it's a great thing. Try not to be so, uh, I don't know what's the word, Jim. This might pushy. be the, yeah. Don't be pushy about uh, money. Okay, money should be the last thing, and it is the last thing on my. If you look at my links, it's not the first thing. First thing is subscribe here. Then it's Facebook, Twitter, whatever. PayPal is less. Okay, I just don't all, want all that stuff will will come in time. Right. So, that to me is I'm not worried about PayPal. And I mean, if somebody I've had people randomly submit. $25 in PayPal, even to Jim. And it's oh, yeah, like, wow, yeah. it's amazing. You know, we really appreciate people that do that because they really want to, they appreciate it. And then what's cool is that PayPal is not taking out any fees where, you know, YouTube's taking that 30% and you're only keeping 70 with PayPal. It's a hundred percent, you know, Damn you, YouTube. you're keeping a hundred percent, but you know, <laughs> again, so one last thing I would say uh, is kind of cool is Social Blade. Get on Social Blade and mm. enter your channel. You can register your YouTube channel on Social Blade, and it, it may help with some data too to push your channel name out there. Okay. So uh, we'll have let let let's put that Social Blade link in for them. Uh, that's it's really something that's really fun to just look at and yeah it's kind of a gauge to let you know where you're heading. You could do future projections. Like how many subscribers will I have in two years? How many will I have in five? How many of you? And it's just something fun. And it's not necessarily, we'll have. yeah, it's not necessarily accurate, Yeah, but it's, it's damn fun to use. It really is. It's fun to use. It's kind of like the analytics of YouTube. It's just a little different. Um, and you can link your social media, to the social blade, and it'll show up Twitter, Facebook. So that mm -hmm. will be in there for you. And that's a, that's another way to just get your name, get your social media out. The more social media you have, the more things that are, and, and use the same name guys. So CJ's info, it's all over the place. Don't use uh, you know, Jim's fishing or whoever it is. And then you're doing giveaway <laughs> guy on. So you have all these different names and different links, keep everything unified under one central name. Mm -hmm. and, and people will understand who you are and it will help that much better. Yeah. It'll start, it'll start picking it up and right. And throwing the same thing out there. I mean, I have, I, I, I have heard this too. Uh, if you type in your channel name, maybe do it in cognito mode, type it in on YouTube. It will actually help populate your channel a little faster. So someone mm. types CJ's info even if they don't put the apostrophe, my channel comes right up. CJ's info. 
Well, I mean, it's a... It's a it's unique a cert- name. It, whether Nobody you, has CJ Zinfo. Whether you see it, whether you see it the way we do or not, somebody typing in CJ's info on a phone, on a laptop. Even if they typed in CJ, my name, still, will, my channel will come up. Yeah, it's still a search request that has to be processed through a server. Right. And it collects that data, and it's compiling it. It's building it up. YouTube, the algorithm. It pulls everything from everywhere, believe it or not. That search engine is so powerful, mm-hmm. you have no idea how many times somebody types one word in there. YouTube is collecting that data, and they pick up on it. And it's, okay, CJ's info. CJ's, well, it's, it's getting searched. People are searching for this channel. You know, it, boom, okay, boom. So these things, you know, boom, your video titles, how to pick your nose, how to do this, how to fish, how to fish, how to bake. <clears throat> These things are so commonly searched that it forces videos to get ranked certain ways. All right. So number one, recap. Okay. Redirecting we, videos. We redirected videos. Right. So guys, you want to go back to this number one recap that will be, we will set up chapters and you can click on the chapter time in the video. Number two, uh, was interacting with your audience a little bit more lengthy. Again, we'll have the chapter set up for you. And number three was the beautiful channel data, which in time we will figure this out to a T and then we can all come back collectively together and knock this thing out. Once we figure out what these channel tags really mean and really do, uh, We're going to knock it out for you guys. That's definitely going to happen. Right. And uh, again, guys, we're on a lot of audio platforms. If you want to listen to us, whatever one you prefer, Apple, Google, Spotify, type our name in there. Also hit the follow or subscribe on those audio platforms because that does help build this channel up. Subscribe on YouTube. Turn the notifications on. Comment below for any questions you have contact us on social media we want to hear from you guys we really do and we can't wait for podcast number five right hey, uh, what name are they going to type in when they look for us and i want you to say it in your your deepest berry white voice youtube underground podcast <laughs> is that good he he tried guys you gotta love cd YouTube Underground Podcast. You say it better, Jim. You have a deeper voice. <laughs> YouTube Underground Podcast. Come on. May the force be with you. <laughs> this is the way. Hey, we appreciate you guys coming in and listening to us, though. Whoever's watching, you. hopefully you see that I'm wearing Star Wars Baby Yoda. He's uh, riding in his toilet. Mm. Or, uh, I think it's baby carriage toilet, whatever it is. So. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and uh, he loves you, okay? He's here with me right now. So oh, I like it. I like it. It's cute. Have a good one, guys. Uh, podcast number five, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace out, Cub Scouts.